A police officer shoots and kills a teenager with schizophrenia and listen to a perspective really that you rarely get. An officer is the one who picks up the phone and calls 911 moments after the trigger is pulled. I don't know if you've been advised or not, but shots fired. I've had to uh, defend myself against this subject. The officer calls it self-defense, but the stepfather of the victim, Keith Vidal, labels it something entirely different. I know what happened. I was there. I watched him shoot my son, cold blood, right in front of me. And there, there's no change in that. Vidal's stepdad also called police to their eastern North Carolina home. He wants to fight his mother. Or he's got a screwdriver. He just, you know, he's not doing good. She's scared to death of him. This is what the victim's family told our affiliate WECT. For at least 10 minutes, two officers were speaking with Keith, who stood just five foot three, weighing in at 100 pounds. And then a third officer from Southport Police arrived at the home. The stepfather told another affiliate, WWAY, that the Southport officer said, quote, we don't have time for this. The officers then tased this young man a couple of times. And as he was being restrained, the Southport officer shot the high school senior. I'm burying my second child right now because somebody murdered him. And this was uncalled for. And this is not how mental health patients should be treated. Lou Palumbo, let me bring you in. You're a former investigator from the Nassau County Police Department. You're hearing both sides, these different 911 calls. What do you make of this? I think it's troubling, uh, to, to say the least. Uh, I, I realize that there's going to be an, an independent and impartial investigation. They're going to have to take statements again from the family and from the, the other officers that were involved. You know, perceptively on the surface, it seems highly problematic. What this police officer now has to do is justify the shooting. He has to establish concretely the fact that he had no other option other than the use of deadly physical force, hmm. that the lives of other individuals were in imminent danger and there was no option. You talk about the independent investigation. We know that uh, the police chief has had no comment to CNN. The State Bureau of Investigation now has the case. The county DA will make the final decision as to whether or not to file charges against this particular detective.